Time to talk with Alyssa Orange from Pig Trail Nation for our usual Tuesday hit. Alyssa, what's new today? How are you? Hey, guys. I'm uh, taking a break from blowing up balloons. Uh, I have my daughter turns one tomorrow, which is insane. So blowing up balloons for a balloon garland. So you appreciate the break. You sound like you're having an absolute <laughs> ball blowing up balloons. How tired are your lips by now? Hey, look, I will say this. I've wised up over the years, and I did buy a hand balloon pump. <laughs> so I got that, that, is, that is smart. That is smart. You said one years old tomorrow? <laughs> She'll be one tomorrow, uh, yep. Is that still, uh, so one-year-old birthday parties, that's for the adults. So yeah. what, what's, the, what's the keg situation going on tomorrow? It, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, my husband Did you say cake or keg? Keg. Alcohol. He said keg. Okay. Uh, but uh, keg stands are in my past, guys. Oh. Um, but that, no, he's in charge of the alcohol. We will probably, you know, scarlet letters might have some blue moons in the fridge. <laughs> uh, but we're just going to have some, some family and friends over and celebrate. And uh, we're excited. So. Here it was. I thought we were going to talk about cakes because it was a birthday, but no, no it's kegs. It's for a one-year-old. <laughs> These things work in tandem. Together. I've been to a couple yeah, one-year-old's birthday parties, and most time there's a keg. I mean, it goes <laughs> okay. hand in hand. <laughs> no kegs. No uh, kegs at okay. the Radler residence on Saturday, but uh, we will have a good time. Okay. Well, they had a party at uh, Bogle Park on Sunday, didn't they? That was, yeah. That's exciting. Um, you know, first of all, to run rule Carolina twice and just, you know, put that thing out of reach pretty early and to celebrate on the field on senior day uh, with a, with another, sh- I know we have to say share of the conference championship, but if you just win one game this weekend, you got it. It's uh, yeah. it's such a thrill. It really is. And we just focus so much on, like, the build of this program from one win in the conference to what they are now. But it, they're, built to, they're built to last, and they're built to win right now, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, they are. And, look, I'm really excited for the time where we can kind of stop talking about the build that Courtney Dyfel is doing. And she's always going to be continuing to grow the program. Dave's doing that still after 20 years, but I think she has now made it to a point where she deserves that kind of respect of, Hey, she's, she's got this going. Uh, and now it's got to keep it going, uh, back to back SEC champions in the SEC is tough. Uh, and outside of Oklahoma and UCLA and Florida state, most of your national champions are going to come from the SEC. Uh, and, and to be able to celebrate at home was big because I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure last year they locked that up on the road. Uh, so it had to have been special for them to celebrate um, at Bogle Park on Sunday. And, of course, it was also senior day. Uh, I know there are a lot of tears inside that ballpark on Sunday. Um, but it's just really cool to watch, like especially for someone like me who grew up playing softball. I respect the game so much. I respect the way that they make the game look effortless when they're playing sometimes. And, uh, hey, I've never been to Oklahoma City. Sorry to put pressure on you. But uh, – Hopefully, this can be my first trip to Oklahoma City here in a couple of weeks. Yeah, definitely. Uh, hopefully, it can. And uh, and I, being a former SID for softball, you know, I respect the game and this all the hard work those athletes really do put in. When at a lot of schools, it goes extremely unnoticed. One thing that's not going to go unnoticed, I think, uh, around the natural state, is going to be mini camps in the NFL. And that's weird mm-hmm. to say because there isn't an NFL team in Arkansas. But Trey Wade going to the Cardinals yep. for mini camp? How about that? How, how, I love it. What are, what are, uh, kind of chances do you give him? I've seen bits and clips uh, of, of some tape. Uh, not yeah. too impressive, but not terrible. Not, yeah. yeah, you know, he's going to have to get better in the route running. Um, I think just his size and strength gives him a lot of potential. Um, and if you guys remember Corey Williams, who was an assistant for Moss for a while before moving to Texas Tech, he went to Oklahoma State, played basketball for Oklahoma State, and was drafted by the Chiefs. He ended up going and playing for the Bulls. It was on that uh, Jordan team, I believe, in 89, one of those Jordan national, uh, 96. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big NBA girl, but one of those uh, NBA championships with, with the Bulls. But got drafted uh, just because of his size. He's huge. Uh, and so Trey, wait, look. Maybe get a little bit better running those routes. Don't know how. I mean, hands are okay, but hey, why not? That's just a really cool opportunity to be able to play college basketball and then get uh, an opportunity in the NFL. Yeah, it definitely is. And, you know, be adding to the list of Razorbacks that are going to camp this year, not just, you know, um, Burks, Ridgeway, 
uh, Busta Brown, now Trey Wade. You, yeah. you had Graham Morgan, a few other. Yeah. Um, hey, my boy, Ty Clary, going down yes. to the Dolphins. That's exciting as a Dolphins fan. Always happy <laughs> when they uh, bring a Razor back on board. Yeah, it's always always great to to have a double interest uh, for rooting for success. But out of the, I guess the, let's start with just you know the draft picks in Traylon Burks, Ridgeway, and Brown. How many new jerseys are you going to see over Arkansas? Is it going to be? You think we'll see more Cowboy Ridgeway jerseys just because there's already a Cowboy influence here, or do you think that? Uh, being an Arkansas native, trailing Burks, that there's going to be a lot more tighten up yeah. around. I think I think there's going to be a lot more double blues walking around in that 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 Tennessee blue, um, just because of what trailing Burks has meant to the state and the fan base so recently. Uh, and and that's no disrespect to to John Ridgeway, but he was here for a year, and and everything that trailing brings, a number one draft pick or a first round draft pick, a Arkansas kid played here for three years. I mean, every just everyone loves Traylon, the kind of guy that he is. Um, and Tennessee, Nashville, just nine hours away from Fayetteville. You know, it's it's a really easy team to root for if you want to talk about proximity. Um, and and it's just exciting. So uh, and I'm you know I'm excited. I like Ryan Tannehill, even though he wasn't very successful in Miami as. We wanted him to be, but I love that he's having success in Nashville, so I can get on board with that, too. We think about Ridgeway with, with the Cowboys. I, I think he's going to stick. I think, I think, mm-hmm. I'm not telling you he's going to have like some, you know, 15 year career, but he, he just seems mm-hmm. like the, he just seems like someone who fits, first of all, the scheme, second of all, the league, the size, yeah. what they'll need him yeah. to do. I think Ridgeway is going to stick. He's just a beast. I, I don't see him not being successful, Phil. I mean, he is a guy who so – I mean, think about how quickly he just grasped the the defense and the schemes here in Arkansas in just a season. Uh, you, you take that knowledge to the NFL and just his size and raw talent, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, he's going to be a force in that middle of the defensive line and uh, tell your quarterbacks to watch out. Uh, Alyssa, one of the other players that is getting a chance in the NFL, and I think that this might be the easiest bet of all time, is Grant Morgan the easiest undrafted free agent to bet on to make uh, a 53-man roster? Because, I mean, it seems like every stage of his life he's constantly being told that he's good but not good enough and then has proven Uh us wrong at every single stage. Yeah. Man, I hope so. And, you know, I hope, you know, it's ironically, another Greenwood guy. I, I've made comments where I don't think that the state of Arkansas is rooting for anyone more in baseball than Connor Nolan. And I don't think the state of Arkansas is rooting for anyone more in the next step of his career than Graham Morgan. Uh, you just can't not root for this kid who continues to do exactly what you said, Drew, and just proving people wrong. And at this point, if you bet against Drew Morgan, <laughs> then uh, – I don't know what's going on with you because that's probably not a really good bet. Uh, I think he's proven everyone that uh, that 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 take the uh, take Grant Morgan when it comes to it, and I hope he's successful. I really do. Um, you know, I think maybe the size might be his biggest thing, but you know, you look at Dre Greenlaw and the success that he's had in in San Francisco, and I don't think that Dre is that much bigger than Grant. Um, and so I hope he gets some success and gets some looks for sure. I ended up a little trouble, like cover. You know, gotta you gotta cover it as a linebacker in the NFL yeah. too, and I just kind of wonder about that with yeah. Grant. But I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd I'd have trouble betting against him too. I want to hit on baseball with you here too, Alyssa. Yeah. Uh, you had a yeah. couple of real tight wins against Ole Miss, and mm-hmm. you know got the hits that they needed in those situations. And it's a team that everybody says is lacking the clutch hit. It has lacked that clutch hit at times this year, mm-hmm. but they still have the recipe of winning games. You know, do, yeah. do you faith of, the, of, you know, keep keep winning and find a way to win your home series and you're going to be a division title holder? Yeah, I hope so. Um, yeah, but, you know, obviously I think this old Miss series uh, still continues to draw out some of the things that this team is struggling with. Um, you know, you see the struggles of Robert Moore at the plate right now and you hate that. Um, and, um that the hitting isn't consistent the way that they want it to be. Um, I think pitching continues to kind of carry this team a little bit. Um, and, and what bright, uh, Brady Taggart is doing as a freshman is in, is incredible. Um, but you do get a little nervous, you know, 
we're used to watching Arkansas baseball, um, turning it on or listening to it on the radio with you, Phil, and just kind of like expecting wins. You know, it's one of those things where you could turn it on and then maybe you can go like clean in the kitchen because you don't have to pay super attention because Arkansas is supposed to be winning. And like, I find myself like, I can't get up on the couch right now. This is way too stressful. (laughs) So, um, uh, that's kind of where I am with baseball. And I hope that they can kind of get this hitting going a little bit. Maybe that the way that they won with that, uh, Kendall Diggs home run, uh, to beat Ole Miss and then the win the next day, um, can kind of give them some momentum as they move forward. Um, because obviously right now, as much as we hate to compare, man, you're chasing Tennessee, right? And and Tennessee continues to hit really, really well despite losing these past couple games to Auburn. So um, they've got some things to clean up. It's just they, they got people on the edge of their seats a little bit more than they have the past couple of years. Well, and it feels to me like you're just going to see a lot of tight games in the middle to late mm-hmm. innings. And so the bullpen just means so much. And last year mm-hmm. it did too, but it was it was one it was one pit, one and a half pitchers, one two and a half pitchers, I'll say pretty much. But right now, like the, I think there's there's you can lend credence to the thought that Brady Tiger like is the most important player on this team right now because he can yeah. pitch two games on a weekend because he's going to throw the last couple of innings and because I mean we just watched a true freshman take the be- one of the best hitters in the SEC for the last few years, Tim Elko, and beat him three times in game-winning situations Saturday and Sunday. Like, there are seniors that don't do that. He did it as a true freshman. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, and he had a lot of emotion going into this game, right? So, like, this was an old Miss school right down the road from where he's from who didn't offer him. Uh, you got a lot of emotion, and you you're wanting something to prove. And then he's got the talent and the the uh, stamina right now in the SEC to do what he did. Um, but it's going to be huge down the stretch for them if they can't get the hitting right uh, the way that Dave and and Nate Thompson I'm sure thought that they were going to have offensively. Um, this deep, this pitching staff is going to have to carry them and and carry them all the way to Omaha if it gets to that point, you know, they got to get through Missouri state today and we know what kind of game this is. It's always chippy and exciting. And, um, Mississippi, or, I'm sorry, Missouri state is no uh, pushover. So, uh, we'll see what happens this afternoon. Yeah. First things first, six thirty, and then we'll worry about, uh, Auburn, which is the next, uh, next weekend series. Yeah. Partners at bet online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest sports developments, including updated odds on the NBA playoffs, fights, and even next season's futures. And don't forget that the MLB is back as well. Who are you picking to win the world series? Bet online is your continued source for all your sports wagering needs, including live betting and your favorite Vegas casino and poker games it's super easy to get started so head to the website today or use your mobile device to join and use our promo code believe that's b-l-e-a-v to receive your 50 percent welcome bonus on your first deposit bet online where the game starts